We are going to be at Go Power Sports working on an off-road go-kart to get it ready for Colorado. So if you are in the area, you should totally drop in, say hi, see how, uh, how our project's coming along between the hours and 2 and 4 p.m. Uh, that's going to be Wednesday, August 2nd. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in Texas. This afternoon, we're showing you how to install the Go Power Sports Stage 2 uh, Performance Kit on your Hemi 212 Predator. They also make a non-Hemi version. When paired with a proper carburetor and header, this kit makes 15 horsepower. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're gonna go fast. We're hoping to do 60 miles an hour on our cart, and we're hoping to do that later today, but this is just our how-to video. And so this kit is usually $320, but for the next week with uh, coupon code, ah, what should our code be? I wanna go fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, with, <laughs> So this kit is usually $320 for Hemi and non-Hemi Predator 212s. With coupon code WANNAGOFAST, you can get 10% off. Nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I wanna go fast. Wanna Only go for fast. the next week though. So for the day this video is posted in the next week, that's when the coupon is good for. So if it's after that, sorry. But if you've been thinking about getting this, now's a good time because you get a discount. Anyway, we're gonna show you how to install it. Dip. It comes with the Beautiful billet, billet flywheel, flywheel, the beautiful billet rod, the beautiful Mod 2 cam, right? Isn't that it? It's, it's a big old lump stick. The lump stick, 18 pound valve springs, and the most important piece, a racing spark plug. Oh, you're, so you're doing head first? <laughs> you're going in head first. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, well, I'm taking the springs loose because we're going to take the camshaft out and the valve springs are pressing True. the lifters against the camshaft. Yep. You know what? The bolts are loose. We'll be ready for it. Let's go ahead and just tear into the block. All right. And you want to be careful with this gasket. Man, I got a question. Me? Does the kit come with a gasket? Ooh, I don't think so, dog. Sorry. All right, so one good thing to know, guys. You might want to go ahead and order another gasket for this. Just a bunch of gaskets. Yeah, yeah, I did some nice uh, tearing over here. Let's get this thing on top dead center which we're right there at it already. That's it. So you're gonna need a 13 16 socket to take the spark plug out. And in a pinch, a uh, 13 16 wrench. Go. Tank off, bud. Fuel tanks off. I'm gonna remove the camshaft. Do it. And the parts are gonna fall out. Of course. That's fine. There you go. You hear the uh, rockers in there? Yeah. Here's one rocker. Push rod. Or push rod, excuse me. Thank you. All right. I'm put that one there. I'm going to keep them kind of in order. This one. This one there. Just for giggles. That one's straight, and that one's straight. Cool. Another one bites the dust. Another cast. Yeah. Yes, the flywheel's got to come off anyway, so let's take off the flywheel. Okay. And then we can remove the crankshaft and try to pull that piston down just far enough to get the uh, wrist pin out. So we don't have to touch so the head. So we don't, don't have to touch the head. Yes. If it's not, then... then we got to bolt it on. But like, what what isn't bolt on? You do your own work, like like do your own mods. Uh, that's it's not what I would consider bolt. Hmm. Good. Yep. Ta -da. Hit it! Burn hole. <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't that easier? Yeah.
is it a good idea to whack on it like that? I mean, it's no different than me putting the screwdrivers on there. Okay. And off comes the factory flywheel. Now, I believe on the last engine, this little dipper here snapped off and it didn't get the oil that it needed because it wasn't dipping in the oil anymore. And uh, I noticed that on the crankshaft, there was a lot of scarring. So I believe that what happened was, it had a failure to communicate. To communicate. <laughs> Trying to do this without pulling the head might not be possible. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so right here where the rod rotates and goes back and forth on this crankshaft as it spins, uh, it was completely eat up and the, it fused with the rod and as it was rotating and it got fused, it broke the rod and put a hole in the uh, block. So it was lack of lubrication caused by us not using a billet rod. But this one, of course, is fine. But the last engine is not. It's dead. Very dead. <laughs> very, very dead. So now I'm gonna see if I can cheat again. We are gonna try to remove the wrist pin. Try to. Without removing the head. The kind that'll go across the shop if you're not careful. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, there we go. Got a smaller dipper, but uh, it actually has a scoop. It in has it. a scoop in it, and it actually has pressurized oil, which is sweet. Yeah. There you go. Uh, we need to clean up that. Uh, hmm. Nice. A bit. My bad. That's what you want. <laughs> Dirt on You're your already engine sabotaging engine. my engine, sir. I am going to remove this and I'm going to cut it and then reinstall it. You could always tap a bolt. Tap a bolt in there. Put it in there. I, I could, but do you have a tap? No. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, she's getting hot. Boy, she's getting hot. <laughs> There you go. So you're gonna need a quarter inch 12 point socket on here for these uh, rod bolts. Yep. Now do we have a torque wrench? No, we don't. We highly recommend that you put in the correct tech torque spec on this application. It comes with these rod bearings that you put in. Boom. There's, there's that one. Cool. Okay, it's been checked. Okay, so you're shooting for 0.0025 to 0.003, but it should be no less than 0.002 and no greater than 0.004. On the plastic gauge? Yes. Okay. What, what is a plastic gauge? What it is, is it's a plastic, like basically a plastic strand, like a string. Yeah. And you put it in there, you, you take the cap off, and you lay a strand across there. And when you bolt the thing together, it squeezes the plastic gauge flat. Okay. And then you measure the thickness. We should definitely get it and have it done, but we'll do that off camera. All right, that feels great. Nice floating billet rod. Now we push that piston back up in there. All the way. Crank. Huh? Oh, we got to put this in, yeah. Yeah, let's crank it up. Yeah.
So how many grunts is 16.2 foot pounds? Are we gonna really show them not what to do? <laughs> I guess that's what we do, isn't it? 16.2 uh, with this little wrench is gonna be about two grunts. Since it's such a small wrench. Yep, ain't a lot of leverage. Yeah, and we're supposed to go back and forth yep. with Alternate. alternating the tightening. And the final is 16.2. So we did the final tightening on our rod. Now it's time for the flywheel. Now hopefully we remember how the last time we had, had to make an adapter last yeah. time because the pull cord. Hopefully didn't fit. we don't have to do it this time. I'm gonna wait for the final torque when we get the uh, case on. Yeah, just just because of, uh, it's all on that one bearing. Yeah. Oh, look at the valve oh, yeah. lift. What do they call that, the duration? It's gonna be like the duration between the two and that's yeah, how let's, high. Let's get on in now. That's how high it holds the valve open. We gotta put in these lifters and I kept track of which ones came out of what hole. We can do push rods from the top, right? Yes. So those are in. And this is oiled up nicely. So I'm going to put this in, lining up the timing marks. Timing marks. Here we Work. go. But uh, dot dot. Totally missing it, dude. There we go. I'm on it. Now for our valve springs. Side cover, and we are gonna just silicone up the uh, gasket surface. Okay, for testing purposes only. For testing purposes only. Highly recommend a new gasket, so don't do what we did. Get yourselves a gasket. Man, we're gonna go fast. Yeah. I know we are. There we go. Perfect. And I'm looking for silicone squeezing out. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Make sure we have a good seal. It's just a dingy old little motor. No. Bet she's got a hundred grand under the hood of that go-kart. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, they're real crappy ones. You gotta look out for it. Yep. They? Just look at farm truck, man. Oh man, he's a legend. Feels good, dude. It's looking good, too. And here's a rework That's what we're looking for. Done by yours truly. Done by Isaac, master Isaac. engine builder. There we go. Sweet. Now we probably put a pod on this thing. I think. Did you not have a pod on? Oh, oh no, you just have a stock, a stock uh, filter. Filter. Oops. Now we should check the uh, fuel flow on the gas tank. That we're gonna put on it. Okay. Make sure it, we don't have a clogged filter. Make sure we don't have a clogged filter and all that stuff. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this valve keep off. There we go. We got a valve keep. Are you kidding me? Oh Lord. You gotta be kidding me. Oh boy. Did I drop it down into the engine? <laughs> Let's see if I get look. There we go, hey! hey! All right. Um, just to let y'all know, y'all need to be careful and not drop the valve keep down into the engine. Whew, that was a close one, yeah, bud. Oh! Dude. Yep. Oh! What are you doing, man? I'm screwing up as fast as I can. There we go. Piston should be at top dead center. PDC. Factory on the left, 18 pound on the right. Thank you. Higher revs. What a pain in the butt. All right. So, 
how I did it, how I held the valve was I put my finger inside the hole and held the valve stem while I installed that spring. And now I'm putting the valve keep back. And now I'm gonna put the push rod back in. Let's not drop this into the hole. There we go. So easy coming off. Alrighty, well, while you could put the stock air filter back on, that wouldn't make much sense with a Stage 2 kit. And if you're doing the Stage 2 kit, odds are you already have the Stage 1 kit. But if you don't, uh, this is part of it. This is a Go Power Sports air filter and adapter kit for a Predator 212. Link in the description to this also. Alrighty, so all we have to do now is uh, put some oil in it and put it back on the cart. All right? And uh, install our clutch. Change. 